we are officially back. It is February 11th, 2022, and I have stepped away from doing mod reviews for a little bit out of out of frustration um, due to the game's constant crashing, but we're going to get back on track. We're going to get back to it. We're going to try it again. Like I say, we may consolidate it a little bit, see what happens, um, but the first mod we're going to take a look at today, we're not going to take a look at I think what I may do, since when Cams to the Farm came out, I did a live stream doing a tour of the map. We may do that with this map as well. We may do a live stream of this later today. This is the Old Stream Farm by Black Sheep Modding. This is uh, a classic map that everybody loves and everybody, uh, you know, really wanted back. Well, I say everybody. I'll say a lot of people. Okay? I won't. I won't say everybody. So. File size is going to be 219.94 megabytes, and we can take a look at some of the screenshots here. And it looks uh, it looks very good. I I would actually love it if the manure piled up in there and we, we had to clean the manure out like we had to in games past, but I'm just not so sure. So that's that's the old stream farm. All right, now let's get into the game hopefully check out the other mods with absolutely no issues alrighty I am refreshed I am rejuvenated I'm ready to tackle this guys so the first thing we have is the McCormick pack this is going to be 19.04 megabytes to download and install 13 slots um, we have the X7 VT drive coming at $170,500. And we have the X8 VT drive coming at $220,000. The X7 is going to be between 190 and 240 horse. And the X8 is going to be between 264 and 310 horse. And oddly enough, the X8 takes up 12 slots and the X7 takes up 13 slots. Very interesting. So. We're going to try this. We're going to try to take a look at the configurations and hope it works. Fingers crossed. Okay. This one loaded in, so we're going to go with it. Wheel brand. We have Trellerborg. We have Michelin. We have Continentals, Midas, BKT, Vertestein, Nokians. Back to Trellerborg. We have Standard, Wheel Weights, Wide Tires, Wide Tires Plus Weights, Narrow Tires, Rear twin wheels, twin wheels, and back to standard. Warning signs, we have no, and we have yes. Take those off. And front loader attachers, no. Quick, power, back to no. Engine setup, we have 190 horse, 210 horse, 225 horse, 240 horse, back to 190. Main color, we have standard and we have special. Room color, we have gray and we have black. So that's the McCormick X7 T drive. Let's go back and let's take a look at the X8 VT drive. All right, again, we have the Troller Board, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Redestein, Nokian, Fetch Troller Board. We'll set up, it's gonna be all the same as the X7 guys. Engine setup is the only thing that's different. So the engine setup, we have 264 horse, 286 horse, 310 horse, and back to 264. So that is the McCormick pack. Next up, we have the Annaberger HTS22.03 slash HTS29.03. This is going to be 15.43 megabytes to download and install. So we have the 22.03 comes in at $47,000, takes up seven slots. Um, this is uh, for chaff and sugar cane and stuff like that. Um, this is going to be 44,000 liters for the 22.03, takes up seven slots. The 29.3 is going to be 50,000 liters and take up eight slots. And let's uh, check out the configurations on these things. Okay, so for wheel brands, we have BKT, Vertestein, and Trellerborg, and Michelin. Back to BKT. We have Standard, Standard 2, Standard 3, Wide Tires, Wide Tires 2, back to Standard. That's actually 
where do you, uh, where do you clutch the tires for this? So cover, we have no, we have no, we have yes. I love those kinds of covers on those two. Main color, we could change it to that there. And uh, I'm not going to look at the other one, guys, because I'm going to assume that it's going to have pretty much the same options that this one has. So that is the Annaberger HTS 22.03 and HTS 29.03. Moving on, we have the Metaltech WP8. This is going to be 3.87 megabytes. This is a forged mixer, so this is going to make your TMR. $26,000 to buy. It's going to take up four slots, 8,000 liters. So it's a uh, it's a small one, and uh, let's see this in the store. <laughs> this uh, this is a little guy. So Wilbrand, we have Trillerborg, <laughs> we have Lizard, we have Continentals, PKT, Fat the Trillerborg, uh, no wheel setups, and we can put a license plate on it. Eight thousand liters. That's the Metaltech WP8. Just a uh, a cute little cute little guy there. Next up, we have the Condor C85-40. Couldn't be a mod review if we didn't have at least one two or three meter plow and or cultivator, uh, if you know what I'm talking about. So this is going to be 4.30 megabytes to download and install, $12,000. Again, this is two meters, it's gonna take up three slots. It's gonna require 180 horsepower to operate. And let's see if there's anything Interesting for configurations in the store. All right, so the only configurations that we really have are the main color, and we could change it from blue to red, just like that. That is the Rabe Condor C85-40. The last of the implements, we have the Capello Quasar F4. This is gonna be 3.29 megabytes to download and install this is a three meter corn header my goodness that is a tiny tiny corn header seventeen thousand dollars it's going to take up two slots and uh yeah that is a uh, that is a small one so design we have with stickers and no stickers main color we can change it to anything on here we want okay there we go like that and that is the capello quasar f4 Whew, we did it we got through all of the mods in the store all we have left to take a look at are a couple placeables so i'm feeling good guys i'm feeling good it's just gonna happen all right first placeable we have is the lizard machine shed this would be five point 34 megabytes to download and install. $24,000. It's going to take up six slots. And oh, look at that. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, I, I like that. Let's uh, just kind of do that. Ah, it's so, so hard to get straight. Fine, you know what? We'll just put it like that. All right, we have fire extinguisher there. Um, all right, so you just walk in and click L3 to turn the lights on. Um, I'm going to take a look around. Make sure, okay, there is a light switch here, but it doesn't seem to matter. You just kind of walk in, turn it on. Nice. Oh, look at that. All right. I dig it. I like it. It looks good. Got some uh, pictures all around it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so that is the Lizard Machine Shed. So we only have one more to look at. Go in here and it's under silos. And under silos, so we have the Unia storage right here. Now, what this is, this is basically, uh, what is it called, the Meridian system? go back here and look yeah this is uh this is a meridian system but on a smaller scale so you will need the belts to put crops in and take crops out of this so we have the container 
three slots? Even though I already placed it? Interesting. $16,000. 27,300 liters. Um, this does hold everything. And also, there's one under silo extensions. No, container? I th okay, yeah. So we have this one here. Um, and this one here. Yeah, so these are both the same thing. Ah, uh, let me just go in here and turn on the interactive zone markers here. To oh, there are no zone markers. Very interesting. Now, they did say that you want to put the, uh... Hmm. Obviously, you, you put it in at the top, and I believe they said this is where you take out the product by the yellow sticker. Because they did say it was a hidden trigger, but I didn't know they quite meant that it was a hidden trigger like that. Interesting. Well, guys, that's it. We did it. We managed to get through a whole mod video without a single crash. And I am on the PS5 version. Now, we did it a little different. Um, I, I didn't really want to do it this way, but what I did was after every mod, I, I saved the clip. Before I went into the configuration, I saved the clip. Then I went in, because after the game crashes, I kind of essentially backed up what I've already done. I'm going to have to do that uh, continuing. It's going to take me longer to edit. It's going to take me longer to record. But uh, you know what? It's it's fine. It's, it's fine. We'll, we'll do it. So, anyway, guys, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Be sure to stay tuned to my channel, because we will do a map tour of the, uh, the new map. And, uh, yeah, I'm just... Glad to be back doing the mod videos again. We'll see you next time.